The film opens with a woman named Rai, who has come to a construction site to document the workers. Rai takes the elevator and goes underground, where the workers are working inside giant tunnels. A worker shows her their invention, which is an apparatus used for breathing under claustrophobic situations, and mentally prepares her in case something goes wrong. She shares some pastries and later coffee with the workers, and asks some minor questions related to their jobs and families. Rai reveals she's a journalist making a documentary, so she films things and photographs the workers minding their business. She's come to the Project Cutterhead, which is an underground construction of a metro station somewhere in Denmark. While journaling, she finds out the workers are refugees from across the world. She pities them for working in such conditions. She finally meets Evo, the man in charge of the project, who's fixing a leakage in the pipe with his apprentice named Baron. She requests Evo to take her to the main drill and see how things actually function. Evo feels excited around her and asks her to come along with him. They finally take her to the chamber, but don't allow her to get inside the cutter head since it could be dangerous. However, Rai convinces him by saying she's authorized to go anywhere she wants. As they connect with one another, Evo takes out the camera from Rai and takes her picture at the site. Soon, a crew member named Adrian shows up and argues with Evo for letting a journalist into the chamber. He raises multiple concerns and also warns them that they only have two oxygen cylinders to circulate enough air in their chamber. Adrian pulls Rai out of there and locks their chamber from outside. He pumps the oxygen inside while Evo and Baron wait for the pressure to be built in the cutter head. In the meantime, they drink water to keep them hydrated. Rai asks Adrian to let her see Evo and Baron working from the tiny window. He agrees and lets her see, while he manages the pressures of different gases inside the cutter head. Evo uses his walkie to tell Adrian to arrange a new cutter, since their cutter number three has stopped working. Adrian isn't comfortable with Evo being so casual about one of the toughest jobs on this planet. He reminds Evo it's only an inspection day, and that they don't have to do real work today. However, Evo's insisting on fixing the cutter because, one way or another, it has to be fixed. While they get inside, a fire alarm starts alerting Adrian and the other staff. Adrian doesn't take it seriously and thinks it's a mishap. Rai looks back and sees smoke picking up in the place. She alerts Adrian, who starts panicking. He gets Rai to safety first and directs her to the refugee chamber, where she'll be out of danger. Rai panics because she doesn't know the way to the refugee chamber, and she isn't familiar enough to make her own way. Afraid she might get lost, Adrian pulls her back and locks her into the medical chamber that's connected to the chamber Evo and Baron are in right now. Adrian locks the chamber from the outside and opens a vault that allows the outside air to circulate in the chamber so that Rai doesn't suffocate. For a short span, the chamber's lights go off. When they go back on, Rai tries to look outside from the small window, but all she sees is pitch black darkness. Fortunately, the lights power back on and she manages to communicate with Baron and Evo. They ask how she ended up here. Rai explains Adrian put her in there to keep her safe, but now he's nowhere to be seen. They tell her to remain calm and inform her that they'll be leaving to put out the fire and will be back soon to get her out. After they leave, Rai calms herself down and removes some layers of her clothing to combat the heat in the chamber. But soon the heat inside starts rising above 50 degrees, and this worries Rai. She knocks on the window, hoping to get a response, which she does. Evo tells her the fire is heating up the air, so he'll need some time to fix the problem. While Evo goes to fix it, the pressure in the chamber starts building, and Rai tries using her hands to combat that pressure. However, it doesn't work, and her ears start popping. This brings her great pain, so she tries to break out of the chamber. However, when Rai tries to open the door, it turns out to be jammed. She uses a wooden log to hit the wheel knob and manages to start turning it and succeeds in opening the door. They pull her out of the chamber and let her into theirs. Evo then reaches out to close the wall that was circulating external air. Rai finally feels a little relieved and chugs down an entire bottle of water. She asks Evo if they're gonna die here. Baron also adds to the conversation and creates more panic. 
Evo tells the two to calm down in order to breathe less and consume less oxygen, since there was a shortage already. Everyone stays calm for a while. Rai can't help herself but drink water consecutively. Baron tells her not to drink so much and that she needs to ration it out. He then tells her a story from the time he was traveling through a desert and that their drivers had mixed gasoline in with the leftover water so that they'd hate it and not overconsume it. Suddenly, Rai's phone rings. Evo and Baron become alert and think her phone has signals and that they can call someone for help. Rai breaks their bubble and tells him it was just an alarm to remind her she had to pick up her daughter from school in half an hour. They're surprised to find out she has a daughter. She then shows him pictures and videos of her daughter and tells him she's a bad mother for putting herself in the current situation and not thinking about her daughter's future if she's gone. Evo, who's facing the wall, starts calling Rai a bad parent and says that he has his kids on the back of his mind and thinks about them all the time. This triggers Rai, so she gets up and starts messing with the vaults, hoping to open the door. Evo panics and tells her not to mess with the door, since this might cause a backdraft caused by pressurized gases released from the chamber if she opens the door instantly. He then takes a marker out and maps out his chamber and plans on sending someone to the medical chamber where Rai was stuck and have it open so they can reach that medical kit and get everyone breath pumps since they will soon run out of oxygen. However, he comes to the conclusion that the plan is impossible to be carried out since the person going out would have to hold their breath and face darkness throughout this entire plan. He further adds to the bad news by saying that the other crew members might have already used all the breath pumps, so if even someone makes it to the chamber, it would still be futile. So he decides it's best if they continue staying in the chamber and hope to be rescued from somebody outside. Later that night, while everyone's sleeping, Rai tries sneaking back into the chamber where she was stuck earlier. However, Evo wakes up and Rai makes up a lie, saying that she needs to go pee in there. He helps her to get into the chamber. But when she gets inside, she tries to lock the door by putting back the wheel knob. It's then revealed that she has a breather apparatus that was given to her by a worker at the beginning of the film. She was hiding it all this time because she didn't want to share it. However, when she's putting back the wheel, Evo and Baron hear sounds and open the doors immediately. There, Evo finds the breather and loses his sanity. He chokes Rai for being a traitor and suddenly the lights go off. Baron pushes Evo away, saving Rai, but he's also mad at her for not telling him about the breather. Evo orders Baron to tie Rai's hands and he puts on a fire suit. He decides to execute his initial plan and get everyone else a breather since he now has Rai's breather to make his way out into the smoke without much risk. Baron does as he says, but starts to FOMO cause he fears Evo would also betray him like Rai. As Evo's about to open the chamber, a rescue team shows up outside. Evo bangs on the door and gets their attention. They instruct Evo and Baron to decompress the pressure in the chamber so they can open the door from the outside. Evo's relieved and goes to open the vault, releasing the gas pressure and making the chamber gas-free. Unfortunately, the gases trigger the fire and cause an explosion, leaving the entire rescue team dead. The fire raises that temperature and things start to melt down around them. They are then forced to get inside the cutter head because of the ever-increasing heat. Baron opens the cutter head and allows everyone else to get out too. While getting out, Evo trips and falls down on the ground. Unfortunately, he takes his last breaths in Baron's lap and passes away. During this emotional goodbye between the two men, Rai can hear and realize that they are close to trains. So she comes up with an escape plan. She quickly shuts the door behind them to prevent any more heat and smoke from entering the cutter head and begins to dig a random hole in the wall. She convinces Baron to let his friend's body go and together they leave. As Baron crawls into the muddy tunnel, Rai goes back and takes the breather apparatus from Evo's body. Then she goes to crawl inside the tunnel, but she gets stuck. Baron takes her arm and helps her get in. Suddenly, an explosion happens and the two get engulfed by darkness. Rai takes her phone and turns the flashlight on, only to find Baron unconscious. A panicked Rai takes the breather and tries to dig her way out, but fails to create an exit. 
She goes to wake Baron up and tells him they need to hug each other so that they can create enough warmth while she thinks of another way out. After sharing some body heat, Rai goes to check on Baron once again, but she's horrified to see his condition worsening. She quickly takes out the breath pump and supplies some oxygen to both herself and Baron. They start taking turns breathing in the precious air, but soon they start running out of oxygen and the two start to fight for the last bit of oxygen left. In the end, Baron manages to keep the breather and Rai faints. And not long after, Baron also faints and the movie cuts to black. In the next scene, they're found by the rescue team and both of them are taken out of the pit. The film ends with Baron and Rai in a chamber where they face each other whilst being put in oxygen cylinders. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this recap, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video.